Good morning. We are about to attempt something that might be totally insane. We are going to attempt what will be the single hardest day hike that we have ever done. That means harder than Whitney, harder than Cactus to Clouds, yep. harder than Anza Borrego. Oh We're gonna try to do the Iron Mountain to Baldy Traverse. So step one is climbing about 6,000 feet up to the summit of Iron Mountain. And from there is where the ridge line traverse begins. It's about two miles with class three, class four scrambling. We head on over to West Baldy and then West Baldy will take us two miles and another couple thousand feet of climbing all the way to summit of Mount Baldy. It's around 10 to 11,000 feet of climbing. We don't know the conditions. Um, it's early April. There might be a lot of snow along the traverse. <laughs> We're definitely the first people out this season on this trail, as far as we know. Exactly. So we have no current beta. Um, yeah. So we're going to be finding it out as we go. <laughs> we did bring a safety rope just in case, uh, but we're very, very excited yeah. to take you guys on this suffer fest today. Let's get this going. Let's go. This is just hellaciously steep. Honestly, I'd forgotten how steep it is. It's basically straight up. Incredible views though. You guys, we are so excited because we just met some friends on Iron that watched our Iron video. How cute are these girls? Oh my God. I can't believe this is the easy part today. We are almost there making very good time, which we need to. Lee's crushing it up the last few feet. So we made it to the summit and look at the crew that we found! Oh! There is nothing more cool than making it to a summit and having people at that summit that saw the video of you coming to the summit. So hit the thumbs up! Okay, we have started our descent from Iron Mountain onto the Traverse. It is incredibly steep already. There's really no apparent trail. Basically, we have to get over three different notches, but the, that's where the class three, class four climbing comes in. So one, two, three, let's get them done. So when you're going down things this steep, it's really a challenge to know whether you want to face the mountain or face forward. Because facing this way gives you something to grab onto, but you can't really see very well. But it's so steep that if you slide, you're gonna slide 20 or 30 yards down the hill. Bro. What? I don't know what the hell we're gonna do here. We don't know where it goes? No. Oh shoot. You're right. Did we take the wrong way? Maybe we could go that way. Or, I guess, we try to go down this. Yeah, this this looks out. so sketchy though. Yeah, it does look sketchy. Wow, this is rock slide central in here. Uh-oh. What do we do here? Conceivably, we could go down and around. You think that's the best option? I honestly don't know. Let's see what's up. Careful, that's a loose rock. Okay. I think over is fine. Yeah? Well, actually, I don't know. Go Elise, you got this. You got this. Yes, yes. That's it, just make sure your hands always have something. Yes, yes. You did it. What we can't tell is if we've already passed the second notch. It's very unclear. Yeah. But what we do know is that it is 15 degrees at least warmer 
than what the weather forecast predicted. And that's not good because we packed our water based on how cold we thought it would be. So a little bit nervous about that, but at least we're making it across these notches. Well, we found a patch of snow and Adam might just go ahead and fill his little water jug and melt it. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. You think so? Yeah. No? I hope it's, I hope it's clean enough. Well, I know. That's the only thing. But would you rather be dehydrated or... Or risk... Uh, risk... Some kind of... Some nasty <laughs> illness. I think I'd take dehydration. You would. I mean, it looks pretty clean. Well... I mean, there's been no one back here, right? No, oh, we've people. been the only people back here. All right. Well, this is a super dicey traverse here. I'm gonna go first and make sure it's even doable. Okay. And then, there's not a lot of great handholds. Okay. But it's important to have one. Yeah. The footholds are worse. Yeah. Now what? Did we choose the wrong way? Maybe. What? I don't even know that we can get back up and around. We can do this way. We can? Yeah. Fuck, it's all so loose though. This one's pretty solid up here. Okay. Careful that rock looks loose there. Yep. Yeah. I'm just making sure I have good handles. Okay. Yep, there's good holds up above you. Get a good handhold before you take that next step. There you go. Don't put your weight on a step till you have a good handhold up in there. Good. Good, good, good. You got it. Just step up. Yep. Find a handhold. Reach. There you go. That's it. That's it. You got it. You got it. Yes. Good job. Oh my God. How are you feeling, Boo Boo? I'm good, but I'm kind of like ready to be done with this crazy scrambling business. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That last notch was somewhat terrifying. Just because if you did fall, there was nothing to stop you for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like ready to not be so nervous anymore. <laughs> that would be nice. There is nothing like some jelly beans to get you through these most treacherous moments. <laughs> <laughs> we felt like we definitely earned some jelly beans coming across that last cliff face. Oh my God. I really think we took the wrong direction, but uh, we made it for now. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty fun. So we're taking turns coming down the really steep ones so that I can find the little rock shelter in case Elise accidentally dislodges a rock. <laughs> it's a real thing. Yeah. Good job. Wow, that is so cool. Do you look at that view over there to your right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. That's it. That's it. You got it. Yep. And then just come across. Got it. Nice. I think we made it through the notches. We did? I do not see another notch. I think we made it. Whoa. That's crazy. I think all we have left is just suffering. We know how to suffer. <laughs> wow. Go. We are about to climb all of that. Oh my goodness. I need a pop tart first. You need a pop tart for sure. You're, you, we don't want you to bonk. The final ascent begins up to the top of Baldy. Wow. This is bushwhacking 
at its finest. We've already climbed about 9,000 really challenging feet and we still have about 2,000 feet left up to the top of Baldy. We're both pretty exhausted at this point, but we learned a really great lesson when we were climbing Kilimanjaro last year from our wonderful guides who taught us this concept called pole pole. And it means, literally it means slowly, but it also just means at the pace of the mountain. Basically, you go as fast as the mountain allows you to. And right now, it's not allowing us to go very fast. No. We're, I think all the glycogen is gone from our bodies. And we're just gonna pole pole up to the top of this baby yeah. at whatever pace we can. This is not slow mo. <laughs> this is the speed I'm going. <laughs> Truth. Well, the ascent up West Baldy has been stunningly difficult. With no trail, we're just making our way over really steep snow and rocks and trees and bushes. It's just a, it's an incredibly difficult ascent. It would be at any time, but after having already climbed about, I don't know what, 9,000 feet already or 10,000 feet already, um, it is really, really breaking our spirit. Yeah. But we know what to do. So One cool. foot in front of the other. Yeah. How are we looking? That is West Baldy. Thank the Lord. It's not that much further. I think we can do it. And then once we're there, it's just a few hundred feet and about a half a mile left to get over to Baldy. I'm so happy that we're almost there. <laughs> so ready to be done. <laughs> Let me just say, if you guys notice on the camera that we're staggering a little bit, I know that looks like we might have altitude sickness or something. We don't. We're just literally that tired. It's been an exhausting day so far. Oh my God. <laughs> 10,000 feet of climbing, but not like easy climbing, not like cactus to clouds. This has just been the most vicious climb. There's no trail. There's no trail. What are you supposed to do? It's such vicious climbing. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's do this. West Baldy right West up there. West Baldy. Let's go. Oh yeah, coming down off of West Baldy. I hate to give up any vertical, but when you're looking at your very last climb of the day, just that now, up to Baldy, it's okay. We're so close. We're so close. I'm gonna accelerate so hard oh when we God, get to the top of Baldy. Nice. I am rubber legged yes. and exhausted and we are almost there. We have made it to Baldy. Ah. That was brutal. Right? Oh my God. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I'm proud of you too. 10 that. hours of suffering Yeah. and we're here. Yes. So we have just been soaking up this summit in this little wind shelter and just thinking about how grateful we are. It's just so incredible knowing your body can do really, really hard things like this. <laughs> it's true. And we've had some of those moments on top of Baldy. Yeah. Because summoning Baldy in that snowstorm was absolutely insane. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely see it. And now we just have to get ourselves down Ski Hut Trail. It's going to be a beautiful rundown. Yeah. It feels so freaking good to be running downhill right now. My up muscles are finished, but my down muscles feel strong. You guys, we have made it. It feels so good, so good. Our first goal obviously was just to make it, not die, not get injured. Yeah. We did that. Our second goal was to make it back before sunset. And we did that too. Just about 12 hours exactly. Oh, wow, what a supper fest. Thank you guys so much for watching and also just inspiring us to get out and do these crazy adventures.
Absolutely. This is one of our funnest things we've ever done. Yeah. Hope you guys like it. Ah!